having a wonderful week. So I wanted to give an update on Google Task and how I'm using it. Even though they still haven't given me the color coding for the different list, I'm still using it because it is a great feature. I do use a lot of the Google products, so it makes sense for me to be using Google Task and also um, Google Reminders, but I use Google Task a little bit more. So the ways to use it, I'm gonna show it now. You're seeing my screen. So first is Gmail. So if you have anything on Gmail that you wanna turn into a task, it's pretty easy. So I'm using my account that I use for when I don't wanna give out my real account and it's mainly more for like discounts and stuff from stores. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that here. And then you'll see this email just popped up. So the good thing is you can check here and here you'll see this little icon and if you hover over it, it says add to task. Super simple, it'll pop out the sidebar on the right. I haven't started it yet on this Gmail account, so that's why you see that here. And then you'll see that it adds the email here. It has a little icon for the email, and then you can go ahead, add details to it, add time. The good thing is, is that in the past, Google Tasks did not allow you to repeat tasks, but now they do have that, which is really great. So I'll just, this is just a test. So you can put a time if you want, add repetition. And the good thing is, is that it's very similar to how the Google Calendar um, repetition feature is you can customize it and not just have it for the month it's mainly more for like the month like you can have it be for the day or for the actual weekday or a week week day of any kind so that's always good to have and then you'll see here that the task shows up now i'm going to go on to the next tab which is my google calendar and if you see here, now you'll see the task. You can um, color code it very similar to the Google Calendar. Uh, when I talk about like the fact that they need to add color coding, I mean that you can, if you open up this bar, oops, I went to the wrong thing. So if you go to task, you'll see here that you can have different lists and it would be nice if they allowed you to have different colors for the different lists because I think that that would definitely improve. Um, I know a lot of people use Google Task already, but I think it would be a good competitor to other task managements like uh, maybe not to do is because do is pretty robust, but you know, other ones out there. So yeah, so here and then you can either like check it off here, mark completed, or you can check it off here whichever one you prefer. And you'll see that it like scratches it off. The other way to create it is if you are in the Google Calendar, you can now like hit create and create it from here. The one thing that I am glad that they finally did because in the past, I think even like maybe a month or two ago, you weren't able to add the ability to repeat tasks from the Google Calendar. So I'm so glad that they finally added that. They are adding um, more and more to the task feature in Google because before you weren't able to do that. The other thing that you were not able to do, and I'll show you that after I show you this, is you'll see like now, and it'll create a task right here. If you hit delete, in the past, it only gave you like the ability to delete this task for all tasks, but I'm so glad that they finally added the third one, which is the option that I usually use, which is this and the following task. So at least for historical purposes, I have the previous task there. So I'm really glad that they added this as well. So now I wanted to, this is not part of Google. I, I, it's an extension. I would not be surprised if Google does buy them out. So if you see here, there is task boards and task boards gives you a more bored look. Um, if you're someone who, who knows about like the Kanban style, it's really good for that as well. So you can create different lists. And what I like about it is when you connect your Google to task boards, it will all, 
automatically create, I'm, a, I'm just going to put list two. I'm so bad at naming stuff, so I apologize for that. Well, the good thing about it is like you see that I just created this list called list two. So if I go to from the email, you can also do it from here. But um, if you go to tasks, you'll see that it actually added the list. So that's one good thing is that there is that integration and you can sit there and add tasks to it. And you will see exactly what I'm talking about when I say that Google needs to add color coding because you see now if I go to oops, list two, which is tomorrow, why can't I figure out when tomorrow is? Oh my God. Am I crazy, you guys? Oh yeah, I guess I was, I was off. <laughs> but um, if you see here, you see it's the same color and you can't change the color. Oh, I hate that. But I, they keep improving, so I'm hoping that they, because I've seen a bunch of people suggesting that and I don't know why they haven't done it yet. But it's really nice because you have the task board. They do have a premium. If you go here, you can try it for free. And I'll just show you like what the premium entails. So the, the premium actually allows you to share your list, which I think is really nice. It allows you to add labels. So if you're someone who likes to uh, use tagging, it allows you to do that. You can change the background. I think it's to basically have it like Trello because um, Trello allows you to customize the background. So it's similar to that. The one thing that they did that Google needs to get on, you know I keep harping on it, it's just so frustrating to me that it's something so easy and they do not do it, is that they allow you to have different colors for your different list. So even though you're not able to see it in Google, on Google Calendar or on the Google side, you at least can see it on task boards, which I think is pretty cool. And it just gives it more oomph than just you can have it be more for a team and so you can do like collaboration better than if you just use the regular Google task. It allows that feature to have it be more collaborative, similar to like Trello, Asana. You could even use it as like a project management. Maybe if you have a small project, you can use it for that if you wanted to. So this is a quick video just to show you like some of the things that they've added to Google Tasks and for you to quickly see um, what task board brings to the table. I really like task board and it definitely is, gives more features to Google task. And I would not be surprised if Google in the future does buy it. Um, the other thing I forgot to add is that they do allow you to have multiple boards if you use the premium. I forgot to mention that. So just mentioning that here. But uh, everybody have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. Let me know if you're using task boards and Google Tasks together or what other task management or project management tool you're using. I would love to know and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.